Okay, so um, I know like a lot of people ask me to do this and um, I was a bit like, let's do it, let's go for it, let's just conquer the world. And I found this one, it's called Ask the Fangirl, which I thought was very appropriate considering my blog's just like this massive fangirl thing. So the first question is first person I've ever obsessed over. Um, unless you're British, you will have no clue who this is, but you probably still won't. But um, Letitia Dean, and she was in EastEnders, which is a British soap, and she played Sharon Watts. And I don't know why, but when I was 11, 12, I just got obsessed. And um, yeah, they had like this forum for her, and I met so many people, and then we used to all go to her concerts and stuff together, it was like the best thing ever. And actually, Joe, from who I met when I was like 11, 12, 13, whatever, I still see and speak to her, which is absolutely lovely. And she's now getting married and stuff, and it's just so cute. Um, current obsession. TV program or person? Everything. Um, at the moment, I, um, I got into Glee. It's really bad. It's got really bad. I watched it for Demi purely. I was like, I was on this people's like, Gleeks hate it, hate Glee, get me away from Glee. Used my best friend Beth, she, she was always obsessed, and I used to take the mick out of it on a daily basis, literally. Like, not horribly, you know what I mean? Like, banner. And, um, yeah, so like a bad person now. <laughs> she loves me, it's fine. And yeah, and I watched it for Demi, and I thought, I actually kind of like this, because all I ever do is sing. If you know me, then you'll know all I do is sing and dance and irritate people. So that sort of show was my thing, and, um, uh, yeah, and I just, my friend Beth had season one, and I thought, I'm going to try it, like, we'll, we'll just, we'll just see what happens, and now I own every box set, and I can, I now own every song, and me and my friend now watch Glee every time I go around, which is like three, four times a week, I watch Glee now, and it's got really bad, so, my favourite band, um, um, I'm actually playing the image show, I'm not going to lie, so if you can't hear that, then you're losing that on life. Um, Imagine Dragons. Imagine Dragons. I, um, I just love their music. I would love to see them live, but they're kind of American and they never come here, so whatever. Um, favourite singer? Demi, Leah Michelle, Cheryl Cole, or Rachel Tucker? They're my top four. They're my faves. Favourite YouTuber? Uh, ooh, I don't really use YouTube. I, like, I follow some people, but not really religiously. The most I probably say is I can't say her name, but Christina Grimmy or I don't know how to say her surname. But yeah, she was just on the voice, the US version, and um I've always followed her YouTube and that like uh, the fact she like I think she I think she came second, which is really good and she's just amazing. How she didn't win I do not know. But I love her. My first concert, oh my god. Um I think my first proper concert was Cheryl when she supported the Black Eyed Peas and I went to Birmingham and I went with my friend actually, I can't show you because my laptop's over, but like opposite where I'm sitting is a picture of me like the t-shirt and I'm like my friend and I was I was in middle school, I was so happy, i never forget that night. Favourite movie? Wah! I own a couple of DVDs. I don't, I don't know, I'm a... I don't know. I really, I love films. I just, I watch films into box sets religiously. So I don't really have a favourite movie. That's really bad. Favourite actress or actress? Um, once again, I'm, I'm a kind of person where if you look at my DVDs, you'll kind of notice like that three quarters of my DVDs are all the same actress. So like I love Courtney Cox, so I literally have her entire collection up there. Um, same with Hilary Duff, I have all hers. Um, Jennifer Anderson, I, I like her. Um, this is really bad. I, if I looked at my like, oh yeah, and her. But yeah, I I collect. I'm quite. I'm really bad at that. I will collect box sets based on people. Sandra Bullock, I love her. Have like three quarters of hers. And me and Nicole still need to finish our. Sandra challenge. We will do that. We will do that, Nicole. We will. We can fight this. Um, first celebrity crush. Oh hello. <laughs> Mum's only gay person. That's really bad. Um, John Barrowman. Saw him live, and I just, I just like, 
And then I got a picture of him and met him and I was just like, happiest person in the world. So I love him. Makes me smile. Ever got made fun of for what? Yes. Not even going to finish that, because, yes. Um, I don't think, un unless you really like someone, I, people don't get it. And when I was younger, people never really got the fact. Like, I've always been obsessed by people. And I don't think anyone gets it, like, my real friends, apart from those who are obsessed with other people. But especially for Cheryl, because I, I was obsessed by Cheryl from high, my high school era. Like, I still am, but it's just not as intense. It was bad, like, bad in high school. And, yeah, people used to have the mick. But then I was called, like, Mini Cheryl, which, no offence, right, it was pretty cool. And then, like, now, my friend's brother, instead of calling me Emmy, he keeps calling me Demi. And I keep, I just fangirl. I'm like, I'm called Demi! So, yeah. Um, favourite book? There are my favourite books. You can't really, oh god, I really, really tell you, Jess. Anything up there is my favourite book. At the moment, I'm obsessed by, like, Nicholas Sparks, have you ever heard of him? He's done like, quite a lot of famous films, actually. It's how people know of him, I'd say. Like, The Notebook, that sort of thing. But out of him, Safe Haven, oh, I'm obsessed. I My friend, like, said, read it. And I was like, oh, I don't want to. And then I read it within two days. So, it's pretty good. Favourite TV show? No, that's not fair. Favourite TV show? Um. Oh. I have, like, five. <laughs> Um, Bones, Love Bones, Pretty Little Lies, Once Upon a Time, Glee, I'm looking at my box sets, Ow, Friends, Charmed, Miranda, Medium, I just, I just love TV, I'm really bad. Favourite fictional character, that's not fair, um, um, from Bones, I love Temperance. I don't know why, I just, I feel like sometimes I relate to her a lot. And also it sounds really stupid, but I just, it makes me really happy. Because you can kind of just see how much she's grown in the seasons. And I just, I just, I'm, I can't deal with it, she's so cute. Um, obviously Rachel Berry from Glee. I, um, I relate to her a lot as well. Like, I didn't even realise, but my friend the other day was like, Emma, you dress like Rachel Berry? I was like, yeah, I love you too. No, that's quite a good compliment. And I do, I really, um, I, I feel like she has the same dreams as me, like, I'm not talented like her, or like, you know what I mean, like, obviously like Liam in real life, but I'm not talented, but if I was, I know I'd be in musicals now, like, that is what I'd be doing. So, sad times, I wish I was talented. <laughs> oh, but yeah, they're, they're two of my favourites, they're two of my favourites. Um, something I love about a fandom I'm in. Um, I'm going to do Lovotics, because I follow mainly Lovotics. Um, I love the fact that I'm, that I've made so many friends, like, if you, I'm gonna tell my, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Like, that's, like, my Demi little wolf when I met Demi that week, and, like, we had Coco and everything, like, all those people, apart from, obviously, there's, like, four of Demi, the rest are people that I've met through Demi, and I love, like, every single one of those, and, like, all the people I know on Tumblr, like, the people I haven't met yet, but I know I will. And it, it, just, it sounds really stupid, but, like, I'm closer to you guys than I am actually people in my own real life. And that is kind of sad, but at the same time, I'm happy, so. Something I hate about a fandom I'm in. Okay, well, I'm going to do my other kind of fandom. I'm going to do Glee fandom. What I hate right now is no one can be happy for Leah and Michelle. Just saying, alright? Like... I'm Monchelle, literally her and Cora, love it. Like, I, I stare at pictures and cry, not an exaggeration. I read Vinchel fan fiction every night till like 2 a.m. And I miss him, like, I really miss Cory. Like, my dad didn't really get it the other day because, like, on his anniversary, I was literally just like this wreck in the corner. And he was just like, you don't, what's going on? I'm like, I can't deal with it, dad. Like, it's not fair. But it's, it's not fair. That's the thing. It isn't fair. But f what I don't. Like, for me, like, if you see the pictures of, like, her and Matthew, which loads of people hate Matthew, and I feel like people are hating him for the wrong reasons. They're hating him because he's not Corey. He isn't going to be Corey. That you, you can't replace someone like Corey. And it really... It, it upsets me to see that people aren't looking at Leah and thinking, OK, she's smiling. Like, that's all that should matter. And I don't... 
and it I don't it's really hard like the people I talk to lucky enough kind of get it but at the same time a few of my friends especially on Twitter kind of they I, I sometimes I feel like oh would I ever take a bullet for the people I found library yes if I ever met Demi again and someone put a gun near her, I would jump in front of it. I wouldn't even doubt it. It sounds really stupid, but like this is honestly how I feel. It's like for me, someone like Demi, like she has saved my life. Like it sounds that sounds really cliche and everything. I know everyone says that to her and stuff, but she has. And if I ever had the chance to save her, as I would, I wouldn't even. Yeah, I would. Do I ever hide the fact that I like someone out of fear for getting teased? Um, yes and no. Oh, like I said, people always know I'm obsessed and people didn't really hide the fact they like they didn't like it. So, I don't know, like, my parents are a bit funny about it. Like, they always, um, but I had, like, I had loads of problems recently. Like, I'm, I'm not gay, but nothing against it. Like, so many of my friends are and I'm happy for them and it's nice knowing they're happy. And like I said, like, my own auntie's a lesbian, and like I said, I am happy for her, and like, her girlfriend, Rachel, she's like the best, most nicest person I've ever met, literally. But that's just, that's not for me. And my, like, when I was really obsessed by Demi, and I kept going to meet her and stuff, my mum, like, my mum kind of said to me that my dad was really funny about it. And, like, that really got to me, because I'm a daddy's girl, and, like, because of the stuff my mum, like, all I've ever really had was my dad. So, like, we really rely on each other. And to think that he wouldn't like me a bit because of my choices really got to me. I mean, like, obviously, like, it wasn't true. And then I spoke to my dad and it turned out it was just this really big misunderstanding. But him and my mum have made comments before. So that, that does that that does upset me a little bit. Actually, I'll tell you what, I said this comment before. Right, I'm just going to clear this up now. I said this comment before on Tumblr and someone started calling me homophobic and everything. And I was just like sit down um have i ever met any of my idols <laughs> yeah i have it's fun oh my baby yes i have met demi <gasps> i still found girl i can't help it um i don't know if it counts but i held kelly clarkson's hand at a concert does that count because i held her hand and I didn't let go. My dad still teasing me, going, Kelly! I'm like, Dad, shut up. Um, Rachel Tucker. You, like, I, I don't, unless you're from the UK and you're a musical fan, you won't know her. But, um, she's, like, she was in Wicked. And I kind of, and she's on this show called I Do Anything when she was younger and stuff. And I watched it, because I love musicals, obviously. And I was obsessed with her on that. And then she then went into musicals and I finally got to meet her last year. And... I can't explain how happy I was, and then I met I met her twice last year, and I just it made me so so happy. Um, yeah, I, that's really bad. I can't think of anyone else in there. Ooh, I think that's about it. Actually, that's really bad. Um, do I have any merch that people I found got over? Yeah, yeah, just a little bit. I have t-shirts, books, CDs, posters. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not crazy, crazy with stuff like that. But I have the basics and like, especially like I, um, something like that. A lot of people didn't know about, but Leah, when she had her album out, actually, some where is it? I don't actually know where it is. It's really bad. But like, you got um, the CD and you could get a t-shirt and a poster. And it was like twenty pound. Bear in mind the CD was really a ten, and I was like, for a t-shirt and a poster. And then I was like, yeah, let's go for it. And then like recently, oh, there's a, there's a lorry outside. Hello. And then recently, I started getting loads of like the old Demi Tour t-shirts, and I wear it twenty four seven. As my friend, she's like, every time you Snapchat me, you're wearing the old Demi t-shirt. I was like, yeah, because it's the most comfiest thing, and I wear it to bed because I wear like a t-shirt in bed and like underwear. That's really weird. Everyone's like, that's really weird. I'm like, I don't care. But I literally wear it every night. So. Sorry. Favourite fangirl moment? Um. Right. Okay. Um. I doubt Melissa will see this. But if Melissa sees this. And she's probably the only one that will get this. So I'm, I might have to share the video. Then she'll be like, yes, Emmy. Um, the first time I met Demi. Um, literally that day, like, it was raining, and we went to Paul O'Grady, because we, everyone had been told she was going on the Tuesday show, 
not impressed. And we stood out there in the pouring rain. Like, I stole the pictures of the mud. Like, the mud is just, like, drenched mud. And and then she did turn up. And then someone's like, yeah, because she's on it tomorrow. And we were all like, what? Like, someone could have told us that, like, earlier in the day. And, um, like, me and Melissa were just like, we were soaked. We were like, right, give up on life now. And, yeah, we were like, oh, we'll just, we'll just meet. Because like, we were meeting her only one Sunday. And a lot of people said that's quite selfish. I'd like to say not really because everyone's entitled to meet her. So, that sounds really rude. Like, if you... I understand people who haven't met her, and loads of my friends who haven't, I would I would give up my chance for them, but the people who were saying, like, we should give up our meeting groups on Sunday, because we've already met her in the week, I was like, no. I went, no, that's not fair. But yeah, anyway, and then someone said to, like, me and Melissa, like, go to a hotel, and, like, for me, I don't, I don't like hotel stalking, as Katie, will, as Katie will tell you how much of a moan I made when we went and done it, like, the day, like, a couple of days after. I just, I don't like it, I really don't, for me, I don't know, I, I find that, I find that invading their space, but that's just, that's just me, that's just me, and then Melissa was like, tell you what, and we'll go for an hour, and then we'll go home, and I was like, okay, I can deal with that, and then there was like, I don't know, 40, 50 of us, and um, yes, we went, and then we were there half an hour, and her car turned up, and it was went mental, and I saw her, and she's just so pretty. I was just like, I'm crying. I literally said, I was like, I can't deal with She's so pretty. And then the next thing I know, she just like, we just, everyone lined up. And she just like, met everyone. Like, she didn't even care how many people there. She just literally like, it was honestly like a key. Just went round, went round the car, went and left. And like, I will never forget, like, how, me and her. I was in Matilda that I loved her, and I was I said thank you and all this. She's like, oh, thank you. She said in her accent, and she sounds so different. She's like, I know, I know she's American, but she sounds so American when you actually speak to her, and it was just crazy. And uh, I didn't cry, like, because I remember everyone else around me was crying. Like, I remember Miss, like Melissa, just couldn't breathe. She's on her phone to her mum, she could not breathe, and I was just like, breathe. It's like, breathe. Your mum's gonna kill me if you die. And I couldn't cry. I cried two days later, but it sounds really stupid. But I rung my flatmate Becky up, and I was just like, I've never been that happy. I can't even explain how happy I was. I was just like. I was out of it for me like I'm one of these people I couldn't cry because I was that happy I just I couldn't and yeah that was like the most longest fangirl moment ever but anyway um thank you for listening and I love you all and twitter